Good morning dear friends. This is a brand new day. The day the Lord has given us for us to rejoice and be glad and serve him and worship him and glorify him. What an opportunity. Thank God for giving us this day. It is his mercy and his faithfulness. And let us spend a few minutes in meditating God's word. Today's meditation is a continuation of yesterday. taken from the gospel according to st john chapter 12 verses 1 to 8 there we saw yesterday that a feast was prepared at the home of of a man known as simon the leper jesus was the chief guest and his disciples who were with him and uh, it happened in bethany the home where Lazarus along with his two sisters Martha and Mary lived. And uh, they also were there as guests. And yesterday we looked at Simon and Lazarus, the two men. Today let us look at the two women who were present. And the first of these we will look into Martha, Lazarus' sister. what is he what is she doing there even here we see her serving martha serving this was her usual employment and whenever we meet martha in the bible she is always serving and you know the angels long to serve the lord jesus christ the son of god love must motivate to motivate us to get out of our comfort zones and serve him do something for Jesus Christ our lord and savior are we prepared to go and seek to do more than attending the church on a sunday morning what do most of the christians do only that and they think that is a big service for god that is not service for god that time is to be spent in worship of god not even asking it is a day of celebration our comfort zones are home and church and we need to get out of our comfort zone in order to find places and opportunities and people before whom we can serve the lord and present jesus to people and be a blessing to people because the love of god within us will pull us out of our comfort zones and take us where men and women without hope they need you they need a lot of people in the world who need us because we as a people of god have a, a joy and a peace and as an assurance of eternal life because we know that our sins are forgiven we acknowledge christ as our lord and savior and now we call him lord Lord means the one who rules that is our experience but most of the people outside they don't know this joy and we who have this joy can now share and so get out and do something you alone have the message of joy and hope they need to hear this message of a salvation present to them the savior that is our responsibility by serving now martha was known to be a woman who wanted to serve always to be a blessing to others serving means you are serving others whatever service you do let others be blessed in the name of the lord that is what martha has been so this is the lesson we learn 
from Martha's life. And of course, when we overdo it, when we, uh, when we uh, do service, uh, sometimes the temptation comes to focus on ourselves and not on the Lord Jesus Christ. And be careful that we don't focus on ourselves. And if we do that, we suddenly begin to feel tired and also we suddenly begin to feel uh, very um, agitated and uh, you, you, we have a tendency to complain and that others are not coming to help me. They see me working hard but nobody is coming to help me and then we blame others. You know, that is not good. If you serve the Lord, you serve the Lord with your whole heart joyfully even if no one else is there by your side to help you are not doing it for yourself or for anybody else you are doing it as unto the lord it is to to him you are indebted and so let us learn this lesson he she had a good heart of service and the other woman we see is mary her sister how about her? Mary is anointing. That act is a symbol, an expression of worship, a true picture of worship, worshiping God. She is not entertaining, nor is she feasting, nor is she serving. She is anointing Jesus' feet, washing his feet and then wiping his feet with her own hair. What a picture. That is a picture of worshipping. She is anointing. She is preparing the body of Jesus for burial. That's how Jesus interpreted it. And it was this action that drew a commendation from the Lord Jesus Christ. Many thought that what she was doing was a useless waste of time and money. Remember, it was Judas Iscariot who complained verbally. Why this waste? This perfume, very expensive, the costly, costliest perfume. It, it would have been sold and then give the money to the poor. And the Bible says, he said that not because he was concerned about the poor, but because he was a thief. And he thought he could take a portion of it. And uh, look at the way he thought of Jesus. What value you give to Jesus? Was he not worthy of what Mary did? to give him the best and that is what God accepts and God is pleased with. Let us always remember our selfishness and greed will take us beyond, um, beyond judgment and we shall be judged and you know what happened to him at the end? The one who criticized. And you know, Jesus says nothing to Simon, though he was entertaining. He did not say anything to Lazarus, though he was seated with him and uh, <clears throat> feasting with him. And nothing to Martha, though she was serving. Entertaining Jesus is a natural thing. Feasting with Jesus is a natural thing. Serving Jesus is a natural thing. These actions for Jesus are expected because of, you, of, of, of gratefulness. He has done something for you which you cannot forget. Simon the leper, he was healed of his leprosy because of Jesus. And Lazarus, 
the greatest miracle the one who was dead and buried for four days were brought out of his grave by the lord jesus christ of course whatever they were doing it is it was it is quite natural but mary thought of doing something very special something out of the ordinary how about you ever thought of going a little further than others away kneeling before him in worship and giving him the best that you can find and you have usually when we come to his presence what do we do we ask we expect and we receive that is what we do even on sundays when it's supposed to be a day of celebration sunday my dear friends is not a time to pray and keep on asking god because six days of the week god has been giving you you have been asking you have been receiving and that's why you are alive on a sunday morning to go into the house of god along with god's people and give him your praise as giving him your thanks giving him yourself present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to you that is the way it is a day of celebration celebrating his faithfulness celebrating his love celebrating his is 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 a protection and his provisions and celebrating his salvation celebrating his is life is faithfulness let it be a day of celebration giving your best unto the lord like mary she wanted to do something better than the others for jesus but usually we ask we expect and we receive and we go home let it not be at the usual thing that you do on a sunday morning or most of the time when you spend in his presence but here these men and women are thinking of ways to bless jesus to minister to him simon entertaining lazarus feasting with jesus a picture of drawing closer by feasting on jesus Martha serving a blessing to Jesus and to others and Mary worshiping giving her best and look at Judas Iscariot who criticized the worshipper he was rebuked by the Lord Jesus Christ himself and in later betrayed Jesus the innocent for just 30 pieces of silver coin that is all the value he set on Jesus the son of god the creator the lord of glory and then what happened he went out into the night and hang himself my friends What do you think of Jesus how much Jesus is worth to you just one just 30 silver coin is that all the creator of the universe worth to you the one who keeps you alive in the name of Jesus i pray that your perception of Jesus Christ will change he is not merely a miracle worker He is not merely a provider. He is not merely a healer, a doctor, a watchman. The one who provides is not he is much much greater than all these my friends. And I want to impress on you from this day consider who Jesus Christ is. He is worthy of your best that you can give. 
and i pray that you will understand don't treat jesus merely as a doctor as a watchman as a provider as a marriage broker or a protector he is more than that he is worthy of the best that you can offer he is worthy of all your worship and praises and thanks you owe him everything that you are and you have and he does not owe anything to you always remember this let us honor him for what he is let us worship him for what he is he is worthy to be worshiped let us love him because he loved us the most and i hope that you will learn these principles and live by these principles god will be pleased and you will be blessed and you will grow in the knowledge and understanding of jesus and you shall be stronger god bless you as you meditate on this and you do what is needful to do amen heavenly father i thank you for blessing this word to many many people and i thank you father god that each individual who listened to this may take it a message from you and to give you all the honor and glory and praise and worship and thanks and we exalt your name oh god forgive us for treating you for anything less than the king of glory the king of all kings and lord of all lords thank you may we have the right perspective perfection of you lord we give you glory in jesus name amen my friend this is a new day it is a good day god has given you this day for you to enjoy go out and enjoy living because jesus loves you amen